Hello YouTube and welcome to your fifth Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial we will be covering nested if statements. So to get started we'll create a new project Windows Forms application and we'll name it nested if. Okay so to get started we'll just add two text boxes and a button okay so for text box one we'll set the name to text uh, text name and delete the one and for text box two we'll set the name to text pass and then button one will set the name to button log in and then for the text we'll just type in log in okay so now let's start coding go ahead and double click uh, log in and it'll open up the method that handles the button being clicked and we'll go ahead declare a variable so dim username as string and we'll set it to equal to text text name dot text and then we'll declare uh, user pass as string and set it equal to text pass dot text okay now we'll start coding our if statement. So go, go ahead and type if user name is equal to Sam uh, Sam then and then press enter and then we'll type in if user pass is equal to uh, I don't know YouTube then message box dot show and then we'll type in welcome welcome to your page and then we'll just name it I don't know we'll set the title to nested if okay so let's go ahead and run it and then we'll come back and we'll I'll explain the code so we type in Sam and then down here type in YouTube and log in Okay, hold on. Uh, ah, there we go. It's case sensitive. So I'll show you how to work around that after this. So log in. Welcome to your page. Now you want the password to be case sensitive, but you don't want Sam to be case sensitive. So I'll go ahead and change that, and then I'll explain the code. So if username equals string dot compare um, user name Sam true equals zero okay so I think I've used this in one of my other tutorials but what it basically does is it says that we're gonna have a string and we're going to compare it to the we're going to compare username to the text Sam and if that is true then it'll set the value to zero and zero just means it's true and if it's any other value than zero it'll be false so first we started off by declaring a variable 
called username as a string and the value of um, the value of that string is taken from whatever is typed in right here and then we declared user pass as string and we got the the text for that from this right here so whatever you type in the first box is stored in username and whatever you type in the second box is stored in user pass so to do the nested if statement we start off by declaring an if statement so if username is equal to Sam then we're going to move on to this if statement which is inside of the if the if statement that we already have which is why it's called nested so if it's equal to Sam then move on and do this if statement so if the user pass is equal to YouTube then show this message box and you can nest as many if statements as you need and um, one thing I wouldn't recommend is using that uh, to protect the program because it's very easy to get around it using if statements and it's not secure so we can go ahead and type Sam any way we want but YouTube has to be just right and if I click log in uh, hold on Hold on, let me try to fix this and I'll come back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to change the code a little bit because um, I couldn't find the problem with it and I wanted to get on with the tutorial. So instead of using string.compare, I decided to use if username dot two lower, which basically takes the value username, which is what we typed in here, and it converts all the letters in it to lowercase letters equals Sam, which is all lower lowercase then move on to this is if statement if user pass equals YouTube then show the message box so now if I run it I can type Sam any way I want and it'll still log me in welcome to your page and then I can change that I can do like that and it'll still log in but if I type anything else like Betty nothing will happen so, thanks for watching this tutorial, uh, please subscribe and go ahead and practice this as much as you need until you get it down. Just make a couple uh, short programs with nested if statements and once you have that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.